Well, three hours and 40 minutes later, and very narrow <laughs> single track roads, I finally got here. And we've arrived, and look, I don't know if he's snagged up or if he's got a great big fish on. I reckon he's snagged up. <laughs> Might be a fish on. And over there, you can see him all practicing. Hopefully, there's a spot for me somewhere. I would say the reservoir is very low at the moment. See, there's bubblers in the middle as well. Little aerators everywhere. Yeah, there's another one. There's not many pegs left. It's 11 o'clock, and most of the anglers are already practicing. But look, van, 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 van. So, uh, uh, yeah, anyway, let's get uh, suited and booted and find a peg. That is my first Tamar Reservoir skimmer. Ain't a bad one, is he? <laughs> Some bloke there, random bloke we've never heard of. <laughs> Big dog. I'm gonna walk to take one in there. Yeah, yeah. That is an effort. You seen this? Come on, I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna to just one chop them off. I'm gonna swim it. I hope you draw take one. This one's no, just been drawn. I heard. So. That's one side of the reservoir, and this is the other. Very alien looking with all these aerators in the middle. That's a one bank, that's a Cornwall bank, and this is a Devon bank. And on the second one from the end there, apparently it's very, very rocky. And uh, you get loads and loads of liners on these pegs yesterday, apparently, but you couldn't catch them. Steve, any kind of peg? There's my peg. And it's Frankie, and there's a bit of a gap because there's a bay, and then it starts. There's loads of gaps and then pegs and stuff because of the bait. It's desperately low. They probably normally fish up there. But it's uh, very, very low. So uh, that's the important stuff for today, I think. But uh, anyway, hopefully they've not clipped me up at five metres whilst I've been away. But I have got Frankie on the next peg, so anything could happen. What, with little skimmers like that? Half the size what I was catching yesterday. today at fishing. Nice to finally have an arrival. I have a full tank so I can finally get back because the country has gone mad. Well, I am at the BP garage. It's day one of the Feeder Masters and uh, I've managed to get some fuel. Got in, no problem. No queues, no nothing. No panic buying. It's a calm down country. <laughs> but I can get home and I can actually uh, do my coaching on Monday as well now. So uh, anyway, it's, it's a relief just to know I've got a full tank um, being down in Devon. 
um, 200 miles away from home. So, um, but yeah, no panic buying here. But don't tell everyone else, they'll all be here trying to get some fuel. <laughs> what we really, really appreciate is, of course, the team here at Kmart, okay? Most of you know Ben Smee, who's hiding at the back. Ben has worked here for 20 years and has ventured to pastures new, but he's come back to help us this weekend and he's organised everything amazingly as far as I'm concerned. So a huge, huge round of applause for everyone. Well, no pressure. There's their ship. I think he's on an MPEG 20. He's moaning, but it'll, it'll be hard to beat if, he, if it's a roach day, which I imagine it will be. That's the other MPEG to my right. And he has got a bubbler. So uh, oh, that's the boat going over to those pegs. So uh, this is my peg. Peg 22. Graham West was on here yesterday. It wasn't overly forthcoming with information, but just said I'd get cormoranted to death. Didn't get a lot more info out of him really about where he's fed or anything. So, uh, but it doesn't fill your optimism really. About nineteen pound come off this peg, but you need I'll need twenty five pound going into the second day, I think, which might be a tall order today. But we'll see. We'll give it a go. Do 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 do. do. Let's splodge your cars. I took that on a very, very short line. Some skinners there, but you never know. Three there. And a load on the longer line. Leave that alone now, that rod. This is the fun bit.
just a few little fish. Yeah, I'm on the far bank saying they can't get a bite. And uh, not a lot of bites on this bank either. Even on the short line, I've had four roach in a perch. I'm not getting any signs or anything. Just had a little knock on the tip there. I'm back on the long line now. But um, very poor fishing at the moment. No movement. He's had, I think he's had three, maybe four skimmers tomorrow. I'll chuck him to the aerator. He's like an MPEG there. But, uh, it's the Adam Wakeman catching a few small fish. The rest of it's pretty rubbish. I'll have a 15 20 minutes on them small fish can't catch. I'm just going to have to keep swapping between the lines until I get a bit of a run. Something to work at. Well, at least I've set it up with some bait. Not good to have set up. The cormorant's working on the ground, which isn't healthy. I've got three red worms on it. There's a skimmer in the way. And a few small fish. Adam Wakelin is the only one catching any fish. He's just having a small fish at all. Further that way, that was apparent. That'd be like a road race anyway, not many skimmers. What's definitely apparent is um, Adam Wakelin has gone a bit of a gap. He's had a catch of a small fish of chalk. There's ship next to him. Can't catch. Not a lot! It does just show him that I've seen a little bit. I've just heard yesterday that the Darwin got a catch. I see. He got it in. Dean Barlow. Yeah. Right, Dean Barlow's had a car. Is it one of them big 40 pounders in here? <laughs> well, he's packing up already. Job done. Two skimmers tomorrow. What are you up to all your rods? Hey? What have you been doing? <laughs> solid, isn't it? Not solid, no, but. Is that two pounds? No, four. Four? Oh, bloody hour. Uh -huh. I just had a four pound bream next door. Hopefully, a few will move from that here later towards me. Yeah, I'll catch some skimmers on that long line. It's a reasonable depth. Are you catching an hour bubble again? <laughs> I've had six fish. One of them four pounds. Yeah. Got a big bit of worm on there, mate. And it snaffled it. 
Can you call that again? Just a big target, mate. How many you got? There they weighed it, 22 pounds. 17. Just a babber. On a chod rig. Yeah, I coach the guy who comes here for the car. It's amazing how few we catch. Yeah. We had four pairs of cormorants on that for eight months and it absolutely decimated all the small fish. In, in the winter you could go down two years ago and catch like 20 pound a roach. Don't see one now. I mean this is carnage isn't it? No, not really, just had two, a roach and a skimmer.
sides of her stepping skin is on there. So happy. Just on the tight to rocket feeder. With my juice ahead. I'm doing all right for where I am. Can't read. Really, I'm not really looking that way too much. Are you catching? Fourteen skimmers, Dad. Fourteen. Fourteen skimmers, Dad. And a bream. <laughs> and a bream. And a carp. No, he's had a bream. Has he? Four pound. He's had a four pound bream. Doing okay, it just went, just went dead, just nothing, just on odd line. Went to the top, and that was it. So I baited it up, put a couple of big feeders in, a couple of quick casts. I had a quick go short, one porch. I 
again, I'll fill that in with worms. So we're getting our arrival last hour here. I'm cold now, very cold. cold in the morning. That's a big one, isn't it? Five pound. Five pound. <laughs> He's had a five pound bream. Thirty minutes ago, what a reasonable day skimmer fishing is. We are, but this, you know, I've been plodding away catching skimmers. See what I'm doing, okay? Right, all right. It's had two big, big bream. One should probably be reasonably close. Um, but half hour ago, so I'm just having a very quick look on my short line, and then I'll just persevere on the long line. It just went a bit long, a long time for that last skimmer. So I'll just. Double check there's no skimmers short. Mm, that'll just give the long line a rest as well. That might be a skimmer. There's a skimmer. That's what I was hoping for. It's been 
now for Ronnie Day. I've had 19 pound five ounce or 90 pound seven ounce, I think, and that's 30 skimmers for that. So they've been on the small side. Um, I beat um, the guy to my right, had 23 fish for 23 pound off peg 23. He's the one with the bubbler, it's like an end peg, and he's had two big bream for that. So if it, if take one of those bream away and I'd beat him. So uh, um, I think the other points had a thirty pound, um, which is well away. We can't even see him from where we're sat. So, uh, but he's in our section. Um, and poor old Keith's had a tough day to my left. He's had seven pound, and then the other side of him, Des Ships had eighteen pound. So I've beaten Des. So uh, that's a result for me. So, um, but um, yeah, so not too bad. Could have done with twenty five pound that would have been very very happy with that but um 19 pound well my target was 20 wasn't it so um um 20 to 25 pound and i'm just short of my, my 20 pound target but a uh, nice day's fishing just shame i didn't have any of them bonus fish really